please pay attention to the important warning at the end of this video. When you're on the field, you need every advantage, and to get the most out of your Rawlings NRG helmet, you need the proper fit. Using a cloth tape measure, measure approximately one inch above the eyebrows around the widest area of the player's head. From that circumference, select the appropriate size range. Since every player's head is uniquely shaped, the NRG Impulse Helmet Size Chart is a reference guide only suggesting a great starting point. Player feedback and proper inspection is critical to determining the final appropriate size. All helmets are clearly marked with a size sticker on the back of the helmet shell. Double check that the proper size has been selected. When putting on the helmet, grip it with index fingers and ear holes and thumbs hooked over the bottom edge nearest pads. Pull helmet down overhead, making sure the player feels the top of the helmet crown on the top of his head. After lacing the chin straps underneath the top face mask bar, buckle the top of the strap into the snaps above the ear holes on either side of the helmet. With the chin cup centered on the player's chin, Adjust the buckles on the straps so that the straps are of equal length on either side of the helmet. The chin cup should be firmly fitted to the chin, and the helmet should feel snug yet comfortable. After adjusting the chin strap, the top front edge of the helmet should be approximately one inch above the player's eyebrows. Check the ear hole alignment. A properly fitted helmet should be centered over the player's ear. After initial fitting and chin strap fastening, if the gap between the eyebrows and front edge is too low on the forehead or not centered properly over the ear holes, minor fit adjustments can be made by inflating or deflating the C3 Crown Comfort Liner. Using the air pump, insert the needle into the inflation valve port located on the top of the Rawlings NRG Impulse Helmet. Pump the bulb one to three times to insert air. After each pump, check the forehead spacing and ear hole alignment and ask the player for feedback regarding comfort. The fit should be snug but comfortable. After adjusting the crown comfort liner, it may be necessary to readjust the chin strap's length and placement so that it fits snugly but not too tight. Ensure that the needle is properly fitted to the end of the inflation pump hose. To deflate, release the valve located on the air hose while the needle remains inserted in the helmet's valve. Next, check the lateral fit of the helmet by inspecting the fit of the jaw pads. The jaw pad should be snug to the player's jaw. If there's a gap or the pad fits too tight, Rawlings offers other jaw pads to achieve the proper amount of pressure. With the proper fit, the skin of the forehead should move with the front pad. There should be no room for twisting of the helmet, and it should not move independently of the head. If additional lateral or rear fit adjustments are required, use the air pump to insert air into the inflation valve port located on the lower bottom of the rear of the helmet. After inserting the needle, pump the bulb one to three times. During this inflation adjustment, check the fit and ask the player regarding comfort. If after adjustment, the helmet moves too easily from side to side, try the next smallest helmet size. After all other adjustments, interlock the hands on the top of the helmet and press down. Players should feel the pad pressure on the crown of their head and a secure snug fit in the forehead area. If the player feels excessive pressure or discomfort upon their forehead, check the inflation of the lateral rear C3 inflation liner. If there is discomfort without inflation adjustment to this liner, the next larger helmet size may be needed. Regularly scheduled fit checks should be administered to ensure the inflation system is working correctly and proper fit is maintained. Visit RawlingsFootball.com for more information on the Rawlings NRG Impulse Football Helmet. Warning, no helmet can prevent all head or any neck injuries a player might receive while participating in football. Do not use this helmet or face guard to butt, ram, or spear an opposing player. This is in violation of football rules, and such case can result in severe head or neck injuries, paralysis, or death to you and possible injury to your opponent. Contact in football may result in concussion brain injury, which no helmet can prevent. Symptoms include loss of consciousness or memory, dizziness, headache, nausea, or confusion. If you have symptoms, immediately stop playing and report them to your coach, trainer, doctor, and parents. Do not return to a game or practice until all symptoms have resolved for an extended period of time and you have received written medical clearance. Ignoring this warning may lead to additional and more serious or fatal brain injury, including potentially fatal second impact syndrome. No helmet system can protect you from serious brain and or neck injuries, including paralysis or death. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football.